Hi again everyone, Ken from Whittling Woods back again with a, another little tutorial carving. This one's going to be a very easy beginner project. We're going to be doing this particular one right here. Uh, it's a simple bottle topper. You can put it uh, on a cork or a screw on top, whatever you have. I happen to have them mounted to corks. I just glue them right, right on there, so it's simple. It's real easy carving. It's, it's, it's quite simple. Just a nose and a hat, basically. Kind of silly. I mean, yeah, you can add details like a mustache or, or whatever the case may be. But, you know, this one's got a little hair on the back and all that. But you don't have to go. We're going to do real simple, real easy carving. And uh, that's it. It's going to be a fun little thing. It's kind of, uh, kind of a bit whimsical, but, uh, but fun. All righty. I'll get everything set up and I'll be right back. Okay, as you uh, saw from the introduction, we're going to do a little bottle stopper. Um, here's the block of wood we're going to be using. It's um, four and a half inches long, one and an eighth inches wide. We're going to carve the figure in the upper half. You'll be able to get two figures out of a block of wood. Um, so that's a nice thing. What I typically do is I actually cut make a little cut mark in here with a, with a saw. It makes it just easier when we when we separate the pieces. Um, so there you go. This is going to be essential, just a rough design. And again, don't worry about measurements or or exact precise things. I mean, you obviously split it in half and you can, you know, you can go by those measurements, but any size block of wood you have. If your wood is four inches or five inches, whatever. Uh, measurements aren't don't, don't worry too much. Don't get hung up over, over the measurements all that much. Just kind of have fun with it. So we're going to do a little guy with a kind of a crooked hat. And it's going to be, you know, kind of like you saw from some of the uh, beginning uh, little examples here. He's just going to have his nose down, but at kind of the bottle, uh, you know, bottle height over there. And uh, we'll do a little crazy hat and maybe just a kind of an indication of an eye. That'll be pretty simple. We're going to use um, a little pocket knife. You can use any any knife you want. You don't have to use a pocket knife. You can obviously use, you know, like a, uh, you know, dedicated whittling knife of some kind. You can use uh, wh whatever you have that um, that cuts wood. Just make sure it's sharp and it'll cut wood. What I'm using is uh, Eastern White Pine. I bought it from uh, one of the big box stores and I uh, just, you know, I cut it uh, to width. I think it's uh, probably uh, like a three by piece and I just cut it to width. So uh, pretty straightforward and uh, relatively inexpensive wood to use. If you have basswood, you can certainly use basswood as well. Uh, but anyway, let me get, uh, let me get the, the knife set up and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. I'm just gonna kind of take the uh, edges down just, just a bit on this piece over here. So, we're gonna make the brim of the hat come all the way to the back so we don't even have, you know, really any indication of hair or anything like that. This is going to be as simple as it as it comes. You can you could certainly make them you know more detailed. We're just going to keep this this one here real simple. So um, I'm just taking the, the, uh, the dimensions down a bit. I kind of mark the top. You know I, I square off. I go from corner to corner just so I can have a reference to see where I'm going. So it's it's not that important, but you know. Again, we're making it even easier because the, the nose is going to be on the corner, so it's already kind of, you know, tapered back on both sides. Um, you know, this is, this, like I said, real simple, simple kind of carving here. So nothing, nothing too complex. Definitely a nice beginner project. And if you have some bottles of your favorite beverage that require some type of corked top or even I guess a screw on top, you know, anything you can glue the piece to, it'll work. It's kind of fun, a little whimsical, you know, silly sitting there in your in your cabinet. People see it and they kind of laugh. And that's what more could you ask for, right? So as you see, we're just bringing it down a bit here. I'm going to um, I'm going to switch to a lower, a slightly smaller blade as we get down here. Uh, we don't need this this big blade. That would just kind of take down some of the bulk of the wood. So hold on one sec. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. Just a slightly smaller blade makes it a little easier getting in, kind of doing a little detail. 
So I'm just going to start forming maybe some of the, it'll be a little bit of a crooked hat. So, um, and again, however you want to do it. You don't have to follow this exact design, obviously. And it will bend it here as well back. So as you can see, the hat will kind of go like this, like that, and then like that, you know, and however you want to do it. When it was like this, I, I just kind of, I kind of go with the flow. I don't really think too much on design all that much, you know, and maybe I should, but I really don't. Stuff like this is just kind of, when you're sitting around and you're on your front porch or if you're like me today, stuck inside because it's pouring rain, we have a big tropical storm coming up the east coast and in the northeast here, it's, uh, it's, it's raining pretty good. But good day to whittle. Okay, let's try to establish the bottom of the hat here. We're just going to go around here and take it in a bit. So, top of the nose, kind of bottom of the hat. That kind of thing. That's all we're doing. And just go along and make some stop cuts essentially. So you can see, we're just kind of making some stop cuts to the bottom of the hat. This here, this will be the nose here. We're just tapering it back just a bit. I guess he's got some kind of floppy hat on or something like that. So there you go. So, I hope you can see, that's pretty much all we've done. Really simple. We're just kind of cutting it back. And not following any rules or patterns, just, just kind of going with the flow. And over here, we're going to start establishing those. So, I'll draw on some lines, just so you can, you can see. Here, and here. And I use... Um, well, if I have it handy, I use these. Uh, these are uh, uh, Faber Castell Cole Erase pen uh, pencils. Um, they come in blue, and I just happen to use blue. Um, th the reason these are good to use over over just your normal graphite um, pencil, like your number two pencil, is that they don't smear as much. Sometimes the uh, graphite pencils, if you have a lot of lines and marks on your on your uh, drawing and you're holding it and you're moving it around it'll 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 start to smear and it'll dirty up your carving a lot more so I find these actually kind of good to use uh, nothing wrong with the you know the uh, normal graphite pencils uh, you know the dark uh, typical like I said typical number two pencils but just just you know if you're wondering why sometimes you get all these little dirty smear marks on your carvings it's because the graphite tends to smear around. I find that uh, that doesn't that's not the case using these uh, you know these Faber Castell Coley race and I guess other brands as well make it. Anyway, we're just um, 
just a little tangent there. We're just, you know, forming the nose here. I'm just cutting some, some uh, the sides of the nose. And again, this is this is like a, as simple as it comes in terms of in terms of uh, carving because we're not carving a mouth, a beard, you know. It's just the everything ends at the bottom of the nose, so it's you know whimsical kind of silly thing. So you can kind of see there. I've just kind of cut that back a little bit. Um, I tend to deepen it where the uh, nose and the you know top of the nose is a bit more. So just go in there and deepen it a bit, right in this right in this area over here. Um, it just uh, <clears throat> creates a little bit more shadow, a little more depth in there, and that's kind of what you want. So there you go. So pretty, pretty straightforward and pretty simple, actually. Nothing too big. To worry about. All right, put a little notch over here. Here I'll draw. I'll draw it in. We're going to do this. Is going to form like the nostril. We'll put one right about here, and then one. If I can get it, get it right, right about there. And the simple way to do it: just put a, a little bit of a, a stop cut, straight in, and maybe cut down to it and cut up to it, type of thing. Kind of like that. Can you see how that goes? And it kind of forms just a. It's a real simple way to do to do the nostril without getting you know hung up on on uh, on a lot of other a lot of other ways to do it. But you know, pretty simple. I sometimes come in here and just scoop out a little bit, just kind of flares it a little bit. I think I think that kind of helps. And you can do it on the other side, obviously. One thing um, nice about the nose is, although it, you know, in theory it's it's symmetrical. Um, you know, most people's uh, most people have uh, have a lot of <laughs> variation from side to side. If they broke their nose uh, a few times, or or not that I know anybody who's had that happen, but um, if you uh, if that you know, you can get kind of get kind of a lot of uh, unusual features and you can have a lot of fun carving in those. But again, we're not going to get too hung up in, in, in a whole heck of a lot of detail in this particular one over here. These are real, real simple to do and you don't have to worry about a whole heck of a lot of, you know, if you want to put sort of the indication of a smile line here, you can kind of do that. It's it's not going to show up all that well, but you, you can, you, you can, of course, you can do it too. And when you when you cut it out, um, you can deepen that a little bit more. Some of it you, you'll have to finish up when you when you cut the pieces apart. But um, um, there you go, something like that type of thing. And there you go. rest here is just going to be kind of shaping the hat. I think if you're <clears throat> you're just getting into whittling, I know um, you know a fair amount of people who've who've uh, left comments on my videos have have mentioned that they're new to whittling and um, and uh, you know they they're just learning and. And if that's the case, this is this is a great little project. You get something, you get something. <clears throat> excuse me. You get something out of it in the end, which is always kind of fun to have a little something that you can actually use. Um, and um, and it's so simple to do. It's really, really just a, an easy, easy project to do that anyone could do. And you don't need any special knives. You don't need gouges. You just. Um, 
and you don't really even have to follow any kind of you know, measurements or any 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 stuff like that. Just just keep it free forming, and have fun. The rest of this is just kind of playing around with the hat a bit more, just to kind of bring it down, you know. And again, just kind of get a feel for it and see how you how you like it. There's no no rule or pattern on this, and don't worry about following my exact patterns or worrying about where I put you know um, any kind of particular cuts in. Um, and I understand that you know that helps, especially if you're new. But in this type of carving, you yeah, definitely don't worry about it. Not necessary. So how's that? I mean, kind of silly, right? But fun. I mean, we're we're essentially you know pretty much done this carving over here. You can go around and kind of clean up things. Maybe put a little bit of a of a lip in there. And then what I'll do is um, off camera, I'll, I'll cut. Uh, I'll cut it out and then we can, you know, maybe come back and just clean it up a bit. And then you're going to paint it, get some type of cork or screw on top, whatever you have that you want to mount it to. And uh, stick it in your, your liquor cabinet or your, if you don't drink uh, liquor, then find another beverage top to put it on. You know? Go in your iced tea bottle or something. Okay, what I'm going to do is um, cut it out, cut the uh, piece out from here. Normally, what I would do is I would carve another one on this side so I'd have something to hold on to. I like to keep, you know, my but the hand that holds a piece away from if if he only had this block of wood you're working with, you got to be a lot more careful because your hand's much closer to the knife. If you're down here holding it, your hand's further away. It's just a little safer. But we're, we're, we're just doing the, the one today uh, just to kind of show you how to do it. And uh, let me just uh, cut this out and I'll be right back. Okay, I cut out the piece here. So um, as you can see, we're just right at the bottom of the nose. I know it's kind of silly looking, but um, you know, it's what it is. And then I just go back in here. And this is basically would be, you know, where your smile line is on your face since, you know, we're, we're just going to kind of deepen that a little bit. It kind of gives just the impression that it's there. And you can go back and, you know, clean it up a little bit and uh, fix up the, the sides here that you couldn't get to, if you can see. And um, that is really about it. You know, if you see any things that need to be touched up on the hat, you can do that. And kind of that's that's it. I know it's <laughs> it's kind of crazy looking, but uh, it's pretty silly. And uh, I'm going to go find a um, a bit of a, a bottle top that I can mount this to, and um, and maybe I'll put a little paint on it first, and then um, we'll see what it looks like, but. That's essentially it. As you can see, I mean, I, I don't know that you could get any easier <laughs> than this. It's a it's a fun little silly project to, to do. And, um, you know, if you mess up, obviously, what did it take? A few minutes to do. Um, so it's it's not that big a deal. But um, it's it's just kind of a fun one's of a product. Then we'll put it on a little uh, bottle top and we'll have something kind of silly. But uh, let, me, uh, let me go do that and uh, I'll be back when that's all done. Okay, there you go. Paint it up, mount it on a little cork. Silly as it is, just a hat and a nose, basically. That's all it is. I added a little, just a little detail, a little patch in his hat there. But that's it. Simple as could be. Uh, couldn't be an easier carving to do, and it's kind of fun um, when it's in the bottle. And I'll show you that in a second. Just wanted to give you a look at the, the finished product here. Pretty easy. You can see it didn't take long at all. All right, let me put it in the bottle. I'll be right back. Okay, there you go. All, all sitting in the bottle there uh, with a couple other little quick ones that I did as well, silly as they are. Anyway, it's just a quick, 
easy little project for anyone to do. You can see it's not very complicated at all, and it's kind of a whimsical little thing to have on your uh, on your uh, liquor shelf or <laughs> or your whatever your favorite beverage shelf would be. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little whittle. It's a fun, quick one, uh, great for beginners, and um, pretty whimsical. So enjoy your carving week. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Take care.